guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get customized version 2.1.1 to work on your uh, device. So um, firstly what you want to do is go into Cydia and install customize. Um, all the features of customize don't actually work with this. Um, the only stuff that does work is the edit system strings which is probably the best bit because all the other stuff you can use with winterboard and everything um, so once you have installed that um, you may notice when you um, tap it, tap the icon in the bottom right there or the colorful one um, it just crashes right to your springboard um, so in order to fix this you have to download some files and SSH into it so um, I'm not going to show you how to do that in this next bit so I'll switch over to the uh, computer screen okay so um, as I said once once you've installed uh, Cydia I mean sorry customized from Cydia um, you want to download this file um, it's called customize2 uh, when if you go over to the description on the right and click the link it should come up with a send space page like this one um, what you want to do is click this download link at the bottom here so we'll go ahead and do that and it'll probably pop up with a few ads like um, all the other file downloading things do this time it didn't um, so we're going to go into downloads and just drag customize 2 to the desktop um, there's not much in here just a few files that will only work on your device so once you have downloaded that, you want to go over to Cyberduck um, or WinSCP if you're using Windows or whatever you prefer. So in order for this to work, you have to have OpenSSH installed on your device and um, you have to type in your IP address and all that. If you don't know how to do this, then you can watch other videos around um, YouTube. So... Um, now logging into my iPhone and we're going to go right to slash then we're going to go into private var then mobile then library and um, it should come up with all these files now with this customized to folder you're going to that you downloaded from the uh, sensebase page you're going to click it and drag and drop it into the uh, Cyberduck window. If you see that, then that's wrong. If you see the blue box around the outside, then that's correct. So just release that. And there should be another box that pops up in a second. There we go. And it should start um, uploading it to your device. So it come up with another box saying do you want to overwrite just click continue and it should upload it and there we go we have a green circle with upload completed so you close out of this once that's done you're going to code disconnect and then command Q um, we're now going to switch over to my um, iPhone view so uh, see you in a little bit so once you have the file SSH'd into your device, you want to click uh, customize. There we go. And um, it should launch this time. If it doesn't, then don't worry, I'll have another step for you. Oh, so mine didn't that time. So we're going to go to settings. If yours did launch then, that's fine. Obviously, you just go into system strings and then change them all. If it didn't, which mine didn't, which mine did, sorry, um, we're gonna go and settings and then put airplane mode on. Then we're gonna go back to the home screen and launch customize again. This time it should definitely launch. There we go, so we're gonna just click OK to that pop up and we're in customize. So let's say we go to edit system strings and then we go English and you can change all these strings 
Um, the, probably the most common one that you'll change is the one right at the bottom. Um, the unlock text and the power lock as well. So um, that's basically how you change your system strings. And um, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter. Okay, thanks. Bye.